Hi, my name is Natasha, and I tutor math, biology, and English. The most rewarding part of being a tutor is seeing that transformation in my students' confidence. Again, students often come in very hesitant or they just don't like school. They just don't like learning. They feel like they're not smart. So the most rewarding part is really seeing those moments where the student realizes, oh, wow, I'm better at this than I used to be. Really just seeing that improvement, no matter where they're starting from or what their abilities are or how good they do in school, there's always improvements and that confidence that comes with that. If you feel like you can communicate well with the tutor and if you feel comfortable working with them and asking questions and not worrying about feeling silly or asking the wrong question, I think that's a good sign that you're with the right tutor because the right tutor will identify your learning needs and how you communicate, how you understand things and how they can explain things to you in the best way. Learning how to learn and how to think is something that you develop over time. Failure, again, is a big part of that. You learn from your mistakes or wrong answers. You can learn from that. And there's different methods. Again, this will vary from student to student, but everyone has their own ways of understanding things, their own ways of organizing their thoughts and approaching problems. So tutoring can really help a student learn their strengths and weaknesses and their learning methods and what works for them. I've noticed many students will have this anxiety, whether it's like a subject in school, some students feel like they can't do math. And so they'll be approached with a math problem and they don't even know where to get started. And it's mostly stemming from this label that they've put on themselves that they just can't do math. So I think that kind of mindset is very present in a lot of students. They have this anxiety about either a subject or just school in general. They feel like they can't do it, so they're scared to ask for help, or they're scared to work on things that confuse them. So I think that can definitely be approached with tutoring. That's where students can be put in the right environment to dig into those strengths and weaknesses and identify their own unique strengths and weaknesses.